Ray Harmony here, and today on 3 Minute Theory, drums. Do all your drum patterns tend to sound the same and just like every other song too? Then this is for you, because I've got a hack that's going to allow you to create unique drum patterns that stand out from the crowd. Alright, so we're at 100 BPM, but this hack works for any tempo. We've got the grid set to 16th notes, and we've got two empty bars. Uh, let's kick things off, not with the kick. Uh, we're going to put the hats in on the quarter note pulse, which is going to keep our heads bobbing. We're going to slam that backbeat with snares, so two and the four get snares. We're going to throw crash on the one, um, and here's the hack that's going to make this drum pattern stand out from the rest. We're going to create a polymeter. It sounds really scary, but it's super simple. It's just two or more time signatures playing simultaneously. That's it. So we've got this top stuff here going in 4-4, four, four, which is like four chord notes to the bar. And then the kick drum is going to be cycling in 5 16th notes. So that's going to be in 5 16. Really fun. Check this out. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4. The fifth one, we're going to have a rest to do like a little phrase. So you can really hear that this is the beginning of the next uh, loop. So one, two, three, four, and then the fifth one's a rest again. And then, and we just keep going. So we can actually just copy and paste this with a little rest in between each group. Um, so we can really hear the five sixteenth notes cycling. Um, now, obviously, that's way too much. You don't want to have like four kicks in a row like that. Um, so let's just delete the second kick from every group like so um, and then we've got a little one at the end here where um, we don't get a full group because it would be like one here two three four off to the end um, so we're just gonna put one in there um, and that's it um, now to kind of really keep the pulse going let's just double those hi-hats maybe with a closed one here um, and we are ready to play check this out it, it, it grooves so differently to anything you've heard have a listen. As you can feel, it's super fresh because it creates this almost random feeling of syncopation because the kick drum pattern is so unpredictable. But it's definitely not random, it's very much planned, which gives it an incredible consistency and groove. And it doesn't get boring. The more you listen to it, the more you love it because there's more to explore. Lastly, I just add in a few hi-hats to freshen up the hi-hat pattern and also make it less predictable. So um, throw in one here. We don't have a kick there. Um, and another one here just to keep it flowing. And then at the end, we're going to throw in uh, a nice little group of three, which is the only place it happens. Now, bonus hack. Check this out. We're going to take the drums, copy them over into the bass, um, and get rid of everything except the kicks. And now we are going to make a bass line from the kick pattern. All right, so let's start by grabbing everything, moving it up, because we're a bit low right now. So let's go to E, why not? Then let's grab the last note out of every one of those groups of five sixteenth notes, and let's throw it up an octave to give the bass line some range. Then let's grab the second note in every one of those groups, and move it up to the flat three to give it some emotion and then let's grab all these roots stretch them out to give it some flow then let's add some funk with the flat seven not every time though because that's going to be too much let's get rid of every second one um, then let's move some of these roots around a little variation so let's throw that up to the flat three move that up to an octave let's get this down to the fl uh, flat seven down to two just to flow better up to that note then some variation on the top end flat three one throw this up to flat three um, and throw that up to flat three as well and we're done 